An agitated Lauren Hill took to social media to address the cancellation by blaming the media for the now-canceled U.S. leg of the Fugees' miseducation anniversary tour, for which she is blaming the media. Last year, I faced an injury that necessitated the rescheduling of some of my shows, she wrote. Hill suffered a vocal strain, injury. Regrettably, some media outlets penchant for sensationalism and clickbait headlines have seemingly created a narrative that has affected ticket sales for the North American portion of the tour. The trust and faith I have in my intentions and my commitment to my art seem to have been overshadowed by this unfortunate portrayal. Hill added that she and the band are thrilled about their upcoming remaining dates in the UK and Europe, given that fans there have not seen them perform live in more than 25 years. Performing for my fans is a profound exchange of energy and emotion that excites me every time. Every show is a piece of my expression and testament to our connection and shared love for music, she said, reiterating her disappointment in having to nix the U.S. run. Ms. Hill concluded, I can assure you that no one is more disappointed about not being able to perform than I am. The U.S. tour featuring Lauren Hill and the Fugees has been canceled three days before it was set to kick off in Florida on Friday. Ticket holders were notified about refunds on Tuesday. Variety reports that the cancellation notices did not provide a reason. The songstress was planning to hit the road to celebrate her 1998 solo album, The Miseducation of Lauren Hill, as well as the Fugees' hit album, The Score. Variety reported that the 21-date tour was set to begin August 9th in Tampa and include stops in Atlanta, Chicago, and Los Angeles before the international leg started oct. 12 in London, Manchester, Paris, and Amsterdam. Last year, Hill clapped back at criticism over her tardiness at shows during her 2023 tour with the Fugees. Yo, y'all lucky I make it on this blood rass stage every night, Hill told the crowd in Los Angeles, which she was late to, Complex reported. I don't do it because they let me do it. I do it because I stand here in the name of God and I do it. God is the one who allows me to do it, who surrounded me with family and community when there was no support. She continued, when the album sold so many records and no one showed up and said, hey, would you like to make another one? So I went around the world and I played the same album over and over and over and over again. Because we are survivors and we're not just survivors, we're thrivers. Hill hit the road last year to celebrate the 25th anniversary of her acclaimed debut album. The miseducation of Lauren Hill is and was a love song to my parents, my family, my people, my musical and cultural forebears, my teachers, my loves, my creator, Hill previously shared in a press release. I wrote love songs and protest songs, still love songs, about the subjects and interests that inspired and moved me. I was confident that what inspired me would resonate with an audience that had been led to believe that songs of that kind could only live in the past. Lauren Noel Hill was born on May 26, 1975, in South Orange, New Jersey, into a middle-class family. Her parents, Mal Hill and Valerie Hill, were both musically inclined, with her father singing in nightclubs and her mother playing the piano. Despite the supportive environment, Lauren faced significant challenges growing up in a racially diverse area where she often felt like an outsider. Hill was a gifted student and showed exceptional talent from a young age. However, she often felt the pressure to excel academically, both in school and in her artistic pursuits. This pressure for perfection would later manifest in her career, contributing to her struggles with anxiety and self-doubt. Lauren Hill's career took off when she joined the Fugees, a hip-hop group formed in the early 1990s with Wyclef Jean and Pra Michel. Their second album, The Score, 1996, catapulted them to global fame, selling over 17 million copies and earning them two Grammy Awards. Hill's vocal prowess and lyrical depth stood out, making her the face of the group. Despite their success, internal conflicts within the Fugees were a constant issue. The most significant tension was between Lauren and Wyclef Jean, who had a complicated personal and professional relationship. This tension eventually contributed to the group's disbandment. In her own words, Hill described the situation as toxic. We were too close to not fall apart eventually. In 1998, Lauren Hill released her solo debut album, The Miseducation of Lauren Hill. The album was a critical and commercial success, 
earning five Grammy Awards and selling over 19 million copies worldwide. Its themes of love, identity, and social justice resonated However, with a global audience. The album's audience. success was also the beginning of Lauren's internal struggles. The intense pressure and sudden fame took a toll on her mental health. Hill later reflected on the period. I had lost my way and was driven by someone else's desires. Following the album's success, Lauren faced numerous legal challenges. A lawsuit was filed against her by a group of musicians who claimed they had not been properly credited or compensated for their work on the album. This legal battle added significant stress to her already turbulent life. In 2012, Lauren Hill was charged with tax evasion for failing to pay taxes on approximately $1.8 million in earnings between 2005 and 2007. In 2013, she was sentenced to three months in federal prison. Hill addressed the court, explaining her actions as a response to the manipulation and mistreatment she felt in the music industry. I needed to step away and protect my family from a system that was intentionally trying to compromise me. This period was particularly challenging for Hill, as she had to balance her responsibilities as a mother with the demands of her career and legal obligations. Lauren Hill's relationship with Rohan Marley, son of reggae legend Bob Marley, was marked by love and turmoil. The couple had five children together, but their relationship was often described as volatile and complex. Rohan Marley was often absent during crucial times, leaving Hill to shoulder the responsibilities of parenthood largely on her own. This situation led to emotional strain and contributed to her withdrawal from the public eye. Hill's commitment to her family has always been her priority, but balancing motherhood with her career brought its own set of challenges. Raising six children, including one from a previous relationship, Hill often felt overwhelmed by the pressures of providing a stable home life while pursuing her artistic ambitions. In an interview, she expressed her struggle. Motherhood was a balancing act. Trying to be everything to everyone left me drained. Throughout her career, Lauren Hill has been open about her battles with anxiety and depression. The pressure of fame, coupled with personal and legal issues, exacerbated her mental health struggles. Her decision to step back from the music industry was in part a response to these challenges as she sought to find peace and healing away from the spotlight. Hill turned to spirituality and self-reflection as a means of coping with her mental health struggles. She has often spoken about the importance of faith and introspection in her journey towards healing. Despite the challenges, Hill remains resilient, using her experiences as a source of inspiration for her music and personal growth. Throughout her career, Lauren Hill has faced intense media scrutiny. Her decisions, whether personal or professional, have often been the subject of public debate and criticism. This scrutiny has sometimes painted an unfair and distorted picture of Hill, contributing to her struggles with self-identity and public perception. Lauren Hill's enigmatic persona and reluctance to conform to industry norms have led to misunderstandings and misinterpretations of her actions. This has often resulted in a skewed public perception, overshadowing her artistic achievements and personal growth. Lauren Hill's life is a testament to resilience in the face of adversity. Her journey through early struggles, career highs, and personal challenges has shaped her into the artist and individual she is today. Despite the tragedies and controversies that have marked her path, Hill continues to inspire and captivate audiences with her unwavering authenticity and profound artistry. Her story serves as a reminder of the complexities of fame and the enduring strength of the human spirit.